What's going on guys? This is Burris here to talk to you today about the Sierra Designs Mobile Mummy. Now I have the three season version. They also have a two season version which has a little bit less on the rating as far as the temperature goes. But as far as the three season goes, I've been testing it now for a couple months. Got it down to uh, six degrees which is the lowest I've taken it so far with temperature rating uh, or for temperature outside. And it really has excelled. It's been the best probably outdoor gear that I've gotten in the last couple years. I mean, it's really amazing. Uh, out of all the other sleeping bags that I have and I've used over the years, um, and just the innovation that's in this is really um, exceptional, and uh, we're gonna talk about that today. So right off the bat, let's get down to what's specifically different than any other sleeping bag. This thing has arms. More specifically, what this has is it has sides here, which allow you to get out. I'm not sure if the microphone is gonna work, but we'll find out. <laughs> It allows you to take your arms out and move them around. And also when you go ahead and uh, put your arm back in, um, it closes off and allows you to have a nice closed off, completely thermal rated um, you know, side here. So that no cold air is gonna get in. That's the one thing I was worried about is that the cold air was gonna get in through these holes. And I didn't notice any of that. The other thing here is right here where your head is, it's nice and snug. It keeps the heat in. I can feel the heat right now, uh, <laughs> just uh, in the house here. But uh, as far as you know, the head area goes, you know, it's nice and formed, form-fitting to a, a natural, you know, skull or head, and it's not super, you know, loose. And uh, you know, they definitely cut down some weight by not having excessive material there. And uh, so that's about as easy as it is. So on the bottom here, you can go ahead and take this toggle right here, and you can put it right here, and you can. Uh, bring up the back and then you can walk around with this okay and what it does is on the back here it kind of holds that up off the ground so you can walk around with your arms out and this all zipped up and then the bottom part if you want to walk around camp or whatever and you don't really feel like getting out your sleeping bag you can go ahead and just uh, toggle that up and then you can walk around kind of like a caterpillar um, to a degree so the installation used here is a 800 fill power it's a duck down and it's dry down which means that it can get wet it's going to keep loft it's going to keep its warmth it's going to not be the absolute best it's not going to be compared to like a synthetic it's not going to be like compared to wool but it's going to be a hell of a lot better than what the uh you know untreated duck down or goose down that's out there um, and it's definitely something that's hitting the market a little bit harder this year than it was last year. It's really coming to market. They have a couple different proprietary types of, uh, you know, treated down. that's going to uh, be resistant to the, uh, the weather and the, and the wet, but this is the dry down. And I can tell you right now that I've had this out in some really super moist conditions, some really you know, wet conditions. I've actually had it out when it was snowing. And you know, I've been warm. And that's the, that's the thing that matters. So on the inside here, you have a 20D taffeta nylon. On the outside here, you have a 20D uh, ripstop nylon. And uh, you know, the inside here is just super plush. I mean, it feels really great. The thing that actually hit me the most as far as you know, what part of this, I mean, just really stood out. And, and you're gonna laugh, but this is actually something that's gonna keep you warm. And you, you know, some people don't kind of, they kind of overlook it when they look at sleeping bags was the draft collar. And a lot of people overlook this, but this is probably one of the more integral parts of keeping yourself warm in a sleeping bag. This actually on the outside here has a, some sort of a coating. It's an extra piece. It's really, really rough. Um, and it's really, it's really good because when you have your zipper and you're zipping up and such, you know, even if it gets caught on here, which it really doesn't much because this zipper is ex excellent. You know, if it gets caught in here, it's not really going to bugger it up. But I mean, this draft collar is just not, I mean, it's really, really, it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's the Arnold Schwarzenegger of draft collars. But, um, you know, the other thing here is you don't have a bunch of uh, Velcro. You don't have a bunch of drawstrings. You have one thing, you zip it up. When you get up to the top here, that's where it goes. And there's no Velcro or anything. You have an area for your nose and your eyes. You have a nice, you know, I wanna say it's not a large area, but you know, it's definitely what's gonna keep you warm. And if you're out there in the wilderness and you wanna stay warm, you know, these are the things that you're gonna to have to start looking to do because on traditional sleeping bags, you have that huge area, even if you tie it in, you know, draw it in a little bit, you still have a big area. And I really like to see other manufacturers go to this smaller design. I've seen some companies do it, but a lot of companies are still doing that custom kind of, uh, you know, big and then draw string into to what you what size you are I guess as far as your head or whatever you know I've used this it has a nice you know plush kind of uh, area right here 
which kind of goes around your face so it keeps it nice and, uh, and soft against your buttery smooth skin. But you know, overall, I mean, the quality of the way it was built, you can see the stitching on here is just excellent. You know, this is uh, definitely put together well. I, had, I found zero problems with the draft collar or not the draft collar, with the actual holes here, because what happens is, so when you put these in and you put this over, it kind of creates its own collar to a degree that you don't have any air coming here. And especially if you're laying on your side or whatever, um, obviously that's going to take up that space and not allow air to come in there. As far as sizing goes, I'm six foot. This is a regular one. This is not long, and I wouldn't go any bigger than six foot in a regular size one. So if you're six one or taller, um, or you're six foot and you just want extra room, Definitely go with the long. Um, if you're six foot or, or shorter, I would definitely go with the regular. You know, my feet really didn't get cold at all on this, which is pretty amazing. That's the first thing that usually on um, my body that gets cold. Um, and I didn't notice, you know, in this one, that uh, that happening very much. You know, the one thing I noticed with this is it warms up really quick. And all the testing I've done, there's some videos I don't have out there, but in six degrees and 20 degrees and 15 degrees, um, and this is a 15 degree rated bag. So 15 degrees, this bag should really be trying a little hard to keep you warm. I mean, all the way down to six degrees, you know, I was out in six degrees and I was up there in the 70 degree mark as far as temperature on the internal uh, temperature of this bag. And it's all because of design, okay? And you know, I'm touting this bag because this bag, I mean, if you're gonna buy one bag, this is the bag you're gonna buy. But the reason it keeps you warm is the enclosed head space, which is not, you know, leaving a bunch of air out because you gotta draw a string in, etc. It's because of this awesome draft collar, and it's because of the material that's used as far as the uh, 800 fill power. This down is extremely warm. It's definitely one of the warmer ones I've uh, I've used. Um, I have some other ones, and uh, you know, some other duck down that is uh, around the same fill power and it doesn't come close to the warmth that this bag has. So I can definitely say that if you're looking for something that's gonna keep you super warm, this is the one you wanna take a look at. As far as the zipper goes, the zippers are excellent. Um, I don't have any problems. I actually like it down the middle. It's kind of like, you know, they say that it's like zipping up your jacket or whatever, it's a normal kind of motion. And it is, it zips up relatively easily. And um, you know, once you're in there, you warm up really quick. That's the other thing I noticed through my testing and use. You know, the thing that that really stuck out as far as the performance of it was I warmed up really quick. Okay, now in my testing, I go outside for 10 minutes, um, at least in the testing part of it, not actual testing it in the back country, but as far as getting ratings and temperatures, um, you know, I'll go out there for 10 minutes and I'll stand. So in six degree weather, I'm standing outside for 10 minutes with just basically a uh, fleece top, a t-shirt underneath, and uh, maybe a long sleeve shirt. You know, nothing really, really, really gonna keep you warm in six degrees for 10 minutes. And, um, you know, I hopped in this, and it kept me extremely warm, but I, I heated up really quick, okay? I warmed up super quick compared to some of the other ones I have, some of the other bags that I have, like a zero degree. I have a zero degree North Face. Um, I have a, a Valentray, and uh, I have a Casper 15. You know, all those bags, which this is a 15 degree bag, um, as far as the extreme temperature goes, you know, all those bags do not compare to what this bag does. And the weight of this bag is two pounds and five ounces as far as the regular goes. So as far as weight goes, you know, it's not super heavy. And that's the one thing you wanna look for when you're going out backpacking, you wanna try to, you know, get rid of some weight. And you know, the bag I used prior to this was about three pounds, six ounces. So I'm cutting about a pound off using this bag, which is really, you know, key. If you wanna be agile, if you don't wanna have strain on yourself as you're going in there and, and you're hiking in miles and miles, you know, you wanna cut as much weight as you can. And like I said, if you're looking for one bag specifically, I would definitely pick this one right here. You know, I try to find things that are wrong with products so that I can say, you know, I think they can do this better. I think they can do this better. You know, other than saying, you know, make this in the United States of America, I can't really say much about this. It's negative because it worked so well and it really grabbed me from the moment I used it. Um, you know, I got inside this on a cold day, the very first time I used it, and I, I really fell in love with this product because, you know, how comfortable it is, how warm it keeps you, you know, you feel good inside of it. You know, you don't feel, um, you don't feel confined, but you don't feel extremely loose or you know, too much freedom of motion. You feel like it's a nice little cocoon, which is kind of like how I like to feel. But then you have this, you know, this area right here where you can, oh, you know, I gotta, you know, get a drink of water, or um, I need to, uh, you know, grab, 
you know, the, uh, you know, oh, I gotta adjust this, I adjust that, let me get another pair of socks, let me get this, let me get that. You know, and I do hammock backpacking, so if I'm in the hammock, I can actually take my arms and get them out of there. As far as if I have this really tucked in, I can then just go over the side of the hammock, get what I need, and come back and, you know, put the hat on or put another pair of socks on or whatever. And, you know, that's the one thing that really sticks out is it keeps the warmth, but you have this awesome option of having your, your hands come out the side, which, you know, just amazing. Fortunately, I've never used it in the capacity of actually walking around camp with it on. Um, it's just not how I am. I know there's people out there that are like that. That's not how I kind of do things. <laughs> so if you're looking for one bag and only one bag, my recommendation and something that's impressed me over the last five years of my testing stuff is this Sierra Designs Mobile Mummy sleeping bag. This sleeping bag is incredible. I'm telling you, it's going to be like your blankie out there. And I don't care if you're big and, and burly and bearded, you're going to love and call this your blankie. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have a Sierra Designs uh, dry down bag, uh, go ahead and put in the comments down below how you like it, or better yet, make a video about it. Until next time. What doesn't it have arms? It allows you to use your arms. Eh, screw it, I'll keep it in.